scientists have successfully recreated the scent of the embalming fluid used in the mummification of an Egyptian woman named Senetne, dating back nearly 3,500 years. Senetne was a prominent figure known as the Ornament of the King, who played a crucial role in the entourage of Pharaoh Amenhotep II. The recreated scent offers insights into the remarkable ingenuity of ancient Egyptians in preserving organs during the mummification process. The embalming fluid's aroma comprises sweet notes of beeswax, providing protection against bacteria, a vanilla-like fragrance from plant substances, and a pine-like scent from tree resins. Surprisingly, it also contains a less fragrant odor resembling freshly surfaced road tar, as bitumen was used to seal organs from moisture and insects. Furthermore, this research suggests that ancient Egypt may have engaged in international trade much earlier than previously believed. The presence of dama resin in Senate Nye's embalming fluid hints at the possibility of international trade connections as early as her time, roughly 250 years before Pharaoh Ramses II, who had evidence of trade with southern India. Dama resin likely originated from dipterocarp trees in Southeast Asia. The findings, presented by Barbara Huber from the Max Planck Institute of Geoanthropology, showcase the advanced nature of Egyptian mummification techniques and provide a unique way for people to experience the past through the recreated scent of eternity. The scent will be part of an upcoming exhibition at the Mosgard Museum in Denmark, allowing visitors to connect with the ancient Egyptian mummification process. Overall, this research not only sheds light on ancient Egyptian practices, but also hints at the extensive trade networks that existed in the ancient world, potentially rewriting some aspects of history.